I've got to be honest with you, I've been here two years. Never have we had the hub so busy. Uh, you, uh, you're, you're, you're obviously doing the, all the right things, basically. Thank you for coming to see us. Oh, thank you for having us. Uh, so uh, the way it works, I'm sure, I know you're big fans of the show, you can't stop listening, but the way it works is uh, we, we do a quick hello now and then you play a song and then we'll have a proper chat, if okay. that's all right. Uh, so hello, everybody. Hello, that, that was the quick hello, uh, and and now we're ready for the track. What's the uh, what's the first track you're going to do? Uh, we're going to play for the very first time on acoustic instruments. We're going to play the Never Ending Why, which is our next single. Fantastic! Look, looking forward to it. Whenever you're ready. Beautiful stuff. Thank you very much. You should play it more often on acoustic instruments. It sounds fantastic. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, now, before we get going, I just I wanted to read this out from a young lady called Rebecca Miller. She's a huge fan of yours. She's, I'm just say, emailing to say hello uh, to Placebo. I wish them the best of luck for both Reading and Leeds, uh, and I hope they enjoy their nice long break. They deserve it. Uh, also, the new videos for the new singles are amazing. Well done. Uh, thank you very well, much. Are you Rebecca. looking forward to Reading and Leeds? That's this weekend, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it's Friday. Friday is Reading, and yeah, Leeds is Sunday. It, yeah. it's, it's, it's carnage, Reading and Leeds, it's, or, from the few times I've been to I it. I know. I know. It's messy. Yeah. Yeah, it's I, I, lots of patchouli about. Yes, I, I, I'm looking down there and it says here, normal Saturday nights now, at home with a cup of green tea. Yeah. That's not really fitting in with the, with the rock and roll messy image at, at Reading and Leeds. Well, we've been doing it for 15 years. You right, know, okay. You know, we've been pretty messy. So there's, there's young pups who can come through now Abs and absolutely. take yeah. over the, 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 the better. You know, you're absolutely <laughs> right about that. Uh, how's, how's the yoga going? Not bad. I haven't done it in a few weeks. But really? Yeah. What kind of yogi are you? Uh, anyway, a, an apprentice. An apprentice yeah. yogi, right? No, but are you an Ashtangi or a Bikrami well, or so, a, no? I don't. I don't think. Happen? I think Bikram's a bit of a hoax. It, actually, of course it is. The geese is all. He's only in it for the cash. He yeah. says so anyway. I mean, the thing is, is that you're not really supposed to do yoga in a steam room. You yes. Know, if you're in India, yeah, it might be 40 degrees, but you'll be yeah. outside. You know, you're not you really meant to do anything other than sit just in a yeah. steam room, as yeah. far as I'm concerned. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, and so so which were you're just more well, than normal? Well, it's kind a of a normal. mixture of everything, right. you know. It's sort of it's kind of designed specifically for my needs. Right. Okay. I like yeah. that. I like that. Uh, now I'm looking. I down wish I wish everything in life was like that. Imagine that. <laughs> you could just design everything. Some people can. The Queen, she pr yeah. she pretty much designs everything. Sir Alan for her Sugar, needs. he probably He's does. definitely got yeah, everything yeah. going on for his knees. Uh, I've looked down here and I see so when you were little, you wanted to be a circus performer. Is that right? Was that you or was that? No, that yeah, that's right. Yeah, I wanted to be a trapeze artist. And, Good uh, news for you. I've just come through the. I just ran through the park this morning. They've set up a huge trapeze there. And, and, they're, and they're taking bookings now. It's called Gorilla Trapeze or something like that. Really? You can go down, strap yourself in, and have as much fun as you like. Well, you see, it's all about, uh, these days I'm all about kind of trying to face my fears, and I have a bit of a fear of heights, you right. know. So I think doing a trapeze would be the you right know, probably thing. a right thing for Maybe me to do. Maybe we could get you to open it for them. Maybe I could arrange that if I could call <laughs> Should we both after, go down after the and show we could go and, and film and, it? And, and yeah. trapeze, that would be fantastic. <laughs> I would like that a lot, actually. I, I, I'm, I'm one, I think I want to do it, too. I'm not, okay. I'm not sure, though. I'm not sure. It says here, talking of, 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 uh, of fears, it says here you're scared of flying. Yeah, I don't like flying. But yeah. you've, been in the, you've been in the lemon jet. You've been in U2's private jet. Yeah, yeah. That kind of takes the stress out of flying a little bit because, you know, you, you, you just get driven straight onto the tarmac. Driven and, into the plane, where, yeah, apparently. Where, the new one, you just drive straight oh, into really? the back of the plane. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They've got one of those big old army cargo planes oh, now. brilliant. Yeah, oh, no, I want one. I know. We all want one. We all want one. Here we are again. If only we could tailor yeah. everything the way we want it. What a nightmare. Let's work really hard. I know this is a, this is a 15 year old story now, but I, I genuinely do just find, you know, the, the way the world works very interesting. You, two, you met at a, an underground station, is that right? Yeah. Yes, we did. In London, yeah. yeah. So what, we, we went to school together, but ah, we, were, right, okay. but we were never we were never friends at school. Right, okay. Um, it's always funny that the ones you don't like at school, sometimes you bump into them and you're like, actually, why weren't we mates? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. And then you find out funny often that. very quickly. Why you weren't mates. And then you back off. But yeah. it's, all, it's, all, it's worked out rather nicely <laughs> for you guys. Yeah. yeah we still don't really years. talk to each other. This is all subterfuge. Which, you know? which, which tube station was it? It was South Kensington. South Kensington. Kensington really? Yeah. Do, you ever, do you ever go down there sometimes just to meet? And just, do you ever meet there and meet outside, <laughs> have a sandwich? <laughs> it's it's one of the stops on this sort of placebo pilgrimage that's, uh, that certain foreign fans come and do. Really? You know? well, they come yeah. and they, they stand they, there? They go to the Rock Garden where we played our first gig and they'll go and get their picture taken. By outside? House, yeah. Because I, I have to say, you, I mean, like you've, sold, I mean, you've sold tens of millions of records, but you, you're, you're one of these bands who sells literally all over the world like yeah. you have a huge huge fan base and, and they seem to be fans who are particularly dedicated to placebo right 
It appears mm. to be the case. Yeah, yeah. you know, it and, you know, keeps us busy. And you tr do you translate? You translate quite a lot of your songs, don't you, or some of your songs? Oh, we've done one in French. You translate. You've translated one. one of your songs in French. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's what I meant to say, actually. Yeah, <laughs> That's fantastic. That's all. Good. That all went well then. <laughs> Wicked. Uh, do you ever think about translating them into Swedish at all, Stefan? Or I, I, don't, I don't really find it a very musical language. So no, probably not. Not a no. massive audience either. To, I mean, like the. It's a lot no, of time small. reworking. It's smaller small than the population of London, so yeah, not very big. Yeah, probably, probably <laughs> not worth it. I, 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 I look down here, Brian, you had a, an interesting life. You lived between three of my favourite L countries, Liberia, Lebanon and Luxembourg. Yeah. <laughs> what a fun life. Or not really? Well, it's not, not, not as soon as I got to Luxembourg. No. Uh, right, what, a little bit boring? <laughs> yeah, it's but, kind of, it's, it's very it's But you're sleepy. near mountains, aren't you? And you no, can do no, kayaking? You can do kayaking. Yeah. I did kayaking. I'm never doing it again in my life. Right, that's it. Man, no, Once nah, you've kayaked, you never go it. back, apparently. Yeah. That's what they always say. <laughs> and what about, what about <laughs> Lebanon? I really want to go to Lebanon. I want to go to Beirut. Well, yeah, I've been back, and I sort of went to look for where the apartment building where we used to live, but uh, what I found was just a bunch of rubble. Rubble. Um, and, uh, yeah, it used to sort of be called uh, sort of the Paris so of the Middle the, East. Yeah, yeah and so it's, uh, it used to be a really beautiful place before. But here there's before. amazing, amongst the rubble, there is amazing, amazing amazing architecture uh, uh, around oh, the it, place. It is really beautiful. Yeah, we, went, we went back and played a gig yeah. there and uh, it just outside of Lebanon there's like the oldest town in, in, uh, in the world. It's called Biblos. And right. It's sort of like these old ruins of a kind of a... Is it a Roman town? Ooh, before that, I think. Yeah. Before that. Way, yeah, back, yeah, way, yeah, back. way, way, way back. Right, so, right, right uh, at the beginning of time. Yeah, and it was, it was quite amusing because they sort of constructed this makeshift sort of gig area out of wood and we're in the middle of the gig and all of a sudden sort of half half the audience disappears and we realize that sort of the the woods broke <laughs> and half the audience has fallen into a hole you know? <laughs> <laughs> turn round went in for a costume change came back out where's everyone gone maybe they don't like this record you know what i mean uh, guys thank you for it. lovely to talk to you, Good to uh, you I, I i can't wait to go to beirut i'm going to be asking them all about the whole wood i'm going to go and see um, this part of my pilgrimage once i've been okay. to south ken tube i'm going to beirut make sure you hit yeah. absolutely yeah. <laughs> um that's isn't that isn't Biblos like a kind of moody fragrance or something as well, or or, or a terrible brand? Biblos is a Italian so. Italian fashion brand. Right, yeah, okay, yes, yeah. yeah, it's that one. Oh, yeah. no good. No, maybe all right in the eighties, perhaps. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm passing no okay, judgment. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, let's not I, I'm pass any no judgment. judgment on fashion houses, which might want to give me closer. Close free. It, you know, you're <laughs> so, and, and you're right not to, Brian. You're right not to. After they heard my ringing endorsement, I'm you sure won't they'll get be. Any. No, that's that's you done. I'm, 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 <laughs> nightmare. What a nightmare for me. Uh, what's the next track you're going to play? Uh, we're going to play for what it's worth. Lovely. Which is the first single off the album. Beautiful. Thank you very much, guys. That's fantastic.